Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 6.12 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 6.12 is entitled Installation of Malware or Malspeak in the Lower Chakras. When negative levitation occurs, then a person's lower chakras have somehow been weakened. This may be through malware or malspeak installations by the negative astral beings in the lower portion of a person's etheric net. The negative astral beings, unpossessed as they are of logical qualities, most likely do not in my opinion, know what the malware or malspeak means in terms of human language. But they can sense how it releases the light from a person's energy field so that they can feed upon it. Amongst the negative astral beings, those that feed upon the human energy field are termed parasites of the astral realm and the mechanisms they insert so as to feed are termed implants or malware or malspeak. In the realm of the esoteric, the website Ascension Glossary has very thorough information on implants and parasites of the astral realm. You can go to the URL https colon slash slash ascensionglossary.com and search for the blog Alien Implants. For more in-depth information on this topic, surf to the companion website Energetic Synthesis https colon slash slash energeticsynthesis.com and search for the same term. Here's a subsection entitled Image of Damage inflicted to the lower chakras by negative astral beings. There is a rather gruesome depiction of this process online, showing a man and a woman with no clothes on, whose genitals are being tortured by devils. I will not put it online, as it is rather too graphic for my tastes. Instead, here are a few examples of malware implants from my own Claire experience. First sub subsection women's malware colon incest. Sometimes women have malware installations of false stories of incest in their early youth. This malware is consciously installed by mind-controlling negative astral beings and also replicated through entertainment movies on this theme which cast women in the role of victims and men in the role of incestuous predators. I would like to suggest some reading for you along those lines. There is quite a commotion online regarding creation of false memories, especially with regard to childhood trauma. I have a few reading suggestions for you in that regard. The first is a title, Creating False Memories, Who is Most at Risk? Question mark. Examining Personal and External Risk Factors. It's by Myrta, M-I-R-T-E, P. A. Van Rooij, R-O-O-I-J. I hope you can find it online. 
And the next is the title, Memory Implantation in English Wikipedia. That should be easy to find. From these articles, I gather that spectacularly noteworthy false memories can be induced during a dissociative state created through hypnosis or mind control. I have one other reading suggestion whose title is Inadvertent Hypnosis During Interrogation colon, False Confession Due to Dissociative State semicolon, Mis-identified Multiple Personality and Satanic Cult Hypothesis. It's by Richard J. O-F-S-H-E in International Journal of Clinical and Experimental Hypnosis, Volume 40, Issue 3, 1992, pages 125 to 156. Currently, it's published online at Taylor Francis Online, https colon slash slash www.tandfonline.com I hope you can find it. It's quite interesting. Droll. Funny in an, in an odd way. I have a sub-subheading entitled The Incubus. Incubus malware is very injurious as it damages women's faith in the goodness of men and causes difficulties in their bonding with men. Thus, a woman falls prey to insecurities, negative emotions, and a state of, quote, ungroundedness, unquote, that can be exploited by the negative astral beings especially those termed incubi, I-N-C-U-B-I, which specialize in astral rape of women. That is to say, what feels like rape, but not in the presence of any physical human being, something to do with telepathy or mind control, or mental suggestion that arrives through the psychic plane, through the astral airs. I found an image that reminds me a little of the term astral rape. It's called The Nightmare. It's by Eugene Thivier, or T-H-I-V-I-E-R. 1894 from Wikimedia Commons and its Creative Commons. Here it is. There's a woman, a young woman, lying on her side and she looks very frightened and perched on her hip is a, a, a very ugly being. With, it looks to me like a female dog that's lactating and but it has wings like a bat and with one arm the young woman is trying to fend off this nightmare or possibly a negative astral entity and with the other hand she's grabbing the bed sheet in anxiety here is a subheading entitled spiritual men's malware unworthiness of lower chakras. Sometimes spiritual men have malware installations of the quote unworthiness end quote of the lower chakras. This causes a weakness in the central vertical power current or kundalini at the level of the heart chakra. The spiritual man may concentrate his awareness on the third eye point, 
the psychic eye in the center of the brain at the level of the forehead, which may be considered evidence of spiritual attainment. A rift develops at the level of the heart because the lack of appreciation of the sexual organs results in anger rather than the joy of orgasm being felt there. This is a sub-subheading, the succubus, S-U-C-C-U-B-U-S. This rift in the energy field of the spiritual man is the cause of what is termed the, quote, false ascension matrix, end quote, where the energetic body of the man is slightly lifted off the ground, unable to connect with the strong energies of Mother Earth, and he becomes fodder or food for the negative astral beings, the, quote, demon hordes, end quote. Especially, he is susceptible to those termed succubi, which are specialized in astral rape of men. For more on the false ascension matrix, please see the Ascension Glossary online. HTTPS colon slash slash ascensionglossary.com and then search the term false ascension matrix. Here's a subheading entitled Astral Rectal Intercourse by a Black Magician. There's at least one other way for a negative astral being to weaken a person's lower chakras. That is, to have a black magician traveling in astral form perform an act of rectal intercourse upon a normal human being, whether a man or a woman. This act drains the life force, or prana, out of a person temporarily. In this state, the person is susceptible to the death wish of the black magician, or to a levitation attempt by a crowd of negative astral beings. When a person's lower chakras have been weakened, apparently there is an interruption of the central vertical power current, or kundalini, beneath a person's feet. This makes it possible, as I clearly view it, for a crowd of negative astral beings to gather round the affected person's head and shoulders, and in some manner, I do not know the, the mechanism, to lift him or her up so that his or her feet are not touching the ground. I have an image for you. I ought to warn you it's a little risque. So you'll want to make sure that your, your children don't see it. This is only for adult viewing. It's called The Divine Eros Defeats the Earthly Eros. Uh, it's a painting by Giovanni Baglioni from about 1602 or 1603. I found it in Wikimedia Commons and it's in the public domain. All right, it's a little difficult to see, but there are three figures in this image. This is the divine Eros, the divine love. It's like a, uh, a strong angel. And here is the earthly Eros. You can probably only see the shoulders and a little bit of the head there. It's looking rather brutish. And here is a young man uh, with a crucifix right here. I believe that the significance here is that the angel prevents the brutish man from having rectal intercourse with the young man who looks a little frightened. It was a very risque topic in its time, and it still is today. Also very controversial. 
I have four reading recommendations for you in connection with black magicians and black magic. Um, it, these recommendations don't suggest that you do black magic, but they explain it so that you can avoid black magic spells and so that you can be a little knowledgeable about the to topic in case you have to fend off black magic spells. The first is a book called The Astral Plane Colon, Its Scenery, Inhabitants, and Phenomena by C. W. Leadbeater. It's in Project Gutenberg. I hope you can find it there. You can search the term black magician when you get to https colon slash slash www.gutenberg, that's G-U-T-E-N-B-E-R-G dot org. The next is a blog entitled Black Magician in the website Ascension Glossary. You can go to https colon slash slash ascensionglossary.com and search the term Black Magician. Then there is a section of a book by H.P. Blavatsky entitled The Key to Theosophy. This is section 14, The Theosophical Mahatmas. Mahatmas is spelled M-A-H-A-T-M-A-S. You can find that at https colon slash slash www dot T H E O S O C I E T Y dot org forward slash Pasadena forward slash key K E Y forward slash K E Y hyphen one four dot H T M. When you get there, search the term black magician. And the last is the book. The Law of One, colon, The Raw Material, at https, colon, slash, slash, www.lawofone.info. The category entitled Negative Path has to do with black magicians. You might also go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and search for the category that has to do with black magicians and black magic. There's quite a bit there in the way of ways to counter black magic spells so that your energy field won't be uh, injured by people who mean you harm on the psychic or astral planes. I have for you a new subheading Visualization to restore the integrity of the central vertical power current, the kundalini, after the heart chakra has been weakened. This is an image and visualization that will help restore the integrity of the central vertical power current, or kundalini, when there has been a disconnect at the heart chakra, what we were just talking about. This is a visualization that I channeled, and I like it very much. I'm still working on it myself, just for the strong sense of personal uh, integrity, of a very strong willpower connected to my heart chakra that it gives me. The image is entitled, Meditation on the Two Wish-Fulfilling Trees, by Alice B. Claggett. 1 October 2021 and its Creative Commons. Looks like this. Here is the silhouette of a young person. There's a yellow band of light sealing the connection be between his lower navel point chakra and that's a yellow tree on an orange background and his lower heart chakra and that's a, a green tree on a yellow background. I hope you can see it all right. The description is silhouette of a young man standing facing forward. 
there is a yellow band along his central vertical power current. The yellow band extends upward from the low navel point chakra at the Tan Den to the low heart chakra at the solar plexus. At the bottom of the yellow band is the symbol of the low navel point chakra containing the lower wish fulfilling tree. At the top of the yellow band is the symbol of the low heart chakra containing the higher wish fulfilling tree. The symbol of the low navel point chakra is a yellow ring inside which is a white ring. Inside that on an orange background is a yellow tree with five branches, each with leaves on it. The symbol of the low heart chakra is a green ring, inside which is a white ring. Inside that, on a yellow background, is a green tree with five branches, each with leaves on it. Here are my comments on the image. Place your awareness on a band of yellow light at the base and top of which are the two wish-fulfilling trees, the low navel point or tan den and the low heart point or solar plexus. Visualize this band of yellow light for 3 or 11 minutes. This will help develop your ability to manifest your heartfelt wishes in the physical world. The credits for this image will be shown at the end of this video. I have several reading recommendations to do with this topic. Both can be found at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and there you can search for the two titles. The first is Tummy Talk, colon, Uniting the Mind and Healing Soul Wounding. The second is Dealing with the Antisocial Personality, in parentheses, ASP, as Humankind Awakens. These offer background information on the topic of this meditation. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.